This is what you will learn in this section. Credit cards can be good. Um, you have to be responsible with them. So a credit card is an open in installment loan, often called revolving credit. It requires you to make minimum monthly payments depending on the balance and interest rate. Your balance, balance and interest rate might change throughout. Definitely your balance changes while you have this credit card because you buy stuff, you make payments. So it's constantly changing when the, the loans that we talked about before, those were called uh, fixed monthly payments. Um, those are a little different than this. So go ahead and just read through it. So most of us will probably have had a credit card by now. And whenever you get your credit card statement, or if you look at the credit card statement online, you'll see an itemized billing where it shows all your purchases, all of your cash advances, your finance charges, and any other fees that occur. Then it'll also tell you when your payment's due and how much it is. So it's gonna change from month to month, depending on your balance. Best thing you can do, pay it off every month. So here is um, a little bit about interest. Interest is calculated PRT. They base this off of an average daily balance. Okay, so the way you find that is by doing the sum of unpaid balances for each day in the billing period divided by number of days in the billing period. So that's your average daily balance. And that's what they charge interest on. So we'll look at an example. So here is the uh, itemized billing we have previous balances. So that's what you're starting the month off with. We have our billing date, payment, and then some charges. So you have airline tickets, books, restaurant, and payment due. Okay, so we are going to find out some things on here. Um, find the average daily balance for the billing period around to the nearest cent. Okay, so we've got to create a little bit of a table to find out what the um, balance is. I'm going to add to this. All right, so the balance right now is $13.50. Um, you make a payment, so you would do the $13.50 minus $250, because that's your payment. That's $1,100. Then you have your line ticket, so you're going to have to add that to your previous balance. 375 plus 1100. 1475. Or 14. Yeah. 75. Then you buy a book, so add the 1475. Add an extra zero. So plus 5750. 1532. 50. Then we do charge, so you have to add that to the previous balance. $16.97.80. Okay. So we want the average daily balance for a billing period. So let's figure out. The sum of n paid balances for each day in the billing period. Okay, so we start out with day one, um, going to five one to five seven. So that's seven days. Seven days times the thirteen fifty. So we've got to find out our average daily. So it says sum of unpaid balances for each day. So we have to do that, and then we're going to have to multiply this 1,100 times, let's see, how many days would that be? May 8th through the 10th. So that's two days. And maybe I should do this. So 7 days, 13, 50, um, 
two days at 1100. And then we have May 10th. So 510. Oh, I should have wrote this too. I'll do 59. So it's two days. And then May 10th through the 19th. Nine, uh, well, 10th counts as one day. So that's actually 20 days. 10 days. 10 days times the 14, 75. Um, and then we have the 20th through the 27th. So that's eight days because you got to count day zero as one day. So that's eight days. And then we have the 28th through the 31st. So, 40. We're finding the sum of all the unpaid balances. So we got to multiply these and then add them all together, and that'll get us the sum. And the days should add up to be 31 because there's 31 days in May. So just to make sure, I'm going to show you. 7 plus 2 plus 10 plus 8 plus 6. So 31 days. So we need to find the sum of all the days and their balances. I'm going to run it all on one line. If you want to do it all separately and then add it, you can do that. So 45,000 is the sum of unpaid each day. That's that amount right there. And we are going to divide it by the number of days in that billing cycle. So we have 31 days in this billing cycle. So our average daily balance, average daily balance equals 1,454. Now find the interest to be paid on June 1st. So the interest, the rate is at 1.3%. So we're doing I equals PRT, where P is this amount. So I equals rent times our rate. We're going to move it over. So, Three times time, we're saying one month, which is that's a really low rate on the credit card. Actually, because we're just doing one, um, so that's what we use one times just one. Um, so eighteen eighty nine. Is our interest to be paid? The monthly interest rate is 1.3. So I wonder if that's different than what I see, what I was talking about with the 24%. Yeah. On the balance on June 1st. So the balance on June 1st is going to be 
what our balance is, the 1597.80, and we're going to add the interest. So you want to do, this is our um, ending balance. That's what you start with. You start with your new balance and add your interest to that. Okay. See what else we have? D says the credit card requires a ten dollar monthly minimum monthly payment if the balance at the end of the healing period is less than three hundred sixty. Otherwise. The minimum monthly payment is 136 of the balance due at the end of the billing period, rounded to the nearest whole dollar. What is the minimum monthly payment due by June 9th? So we have to do 136 of our balance. So we're going to have to multiply this. 136. Um, I'm sure you put parentheses around that. That's going to change your answer. Or you can do that alpha y equals to do a fraction. So 44, 90, but it says rounded to the next whole dollar. Okay, so that has several parts to it, but it's all. Pretty doable, just takes a little bit of time. Okay. Finding the average daily balance. We did that. So you make a table, um, including transaction date, unpaid balance, add a column that shows number of days of each unpaid balance, add a final column showing the unpaid balance, multiplied by the number of days. The balance is outstanding, and then find the sum. And then you divide by the number of days in that billing period. So we actually did that earlier. So the rest of this is just reading different things about credit cards and also about your credit score and debit card. So I recommend you just read through that, make sure you um, understand it, and that is it for you.